Trouble hitting many Bay Area families hard, now forcing a family of five to actually live in this tent right here in the woods. Now, we're talking about trouble finding a good job and not enough affordable housing for them. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Jacqueline Inglace is taking action to get this Pasco veteran and his family the help they really need. Behind me here is where this family of five used to live, a very beautiful home. Then there fell on hard times. Now tonight, this is what they're calling home, this tent in the woods. The boys sleep here, and me and my wife sleeps right here. It's embarrassing and hard for the Barrett family to admit they're living like animals and have been for two months. Uh, there's spiders, um, bugs. We got a tarp up here so the rain doesn't, it still leaks. A series of bad luck has left the family of five with nothing. Well, my husband lost his job, and we were evicted. We had to live in our truck for a couple weeks, and that was repossessed. They have no way to bathe very hot and dirty and are relying on food donations to eat it breaks my heart that I can't do what a mom is supposed to do and just get a roof for her children but you can see this one's still popped it's leaking Jeff Barrett a US Navy veteran had been working as a pipe fitter now I was doing good a couple years ago I was working at the Union Hall and then work started dying slower and I got laid off and everything started going downhill he now spends his days collecting firewood in these Tarpon Springs woods. These mosquitoes and horseflies, they're just eating us. The family says they tried getting help. I've called 211. I've yeah. called every number they've referred me to. I begged for assistance, and they just say they don't have any funds available at all. They have vouchers for Section 8 housing, but all is full. It'll be at least 20 days until they possibly get a home. I just want to find somewhere that we can live. I'm at rock, rock bottom now, so I can't really go any farther down. Not only is this family protecting themselves, defending their home from wildlife in the area, take a look down here. The fire you see, this is going around the clock. That's because they're worried about mosquitoes, and they're hoping that by keeping this going, it'll fend those off and keep them safe from the Zika virus. In Pasco County, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.